that seed migrated with the Indians. But the first, the first criollo is the tobaccos that we consider of Brazilian origin. And there's five of those, the Montezul, the Matadorte, the Arpiaca, the Matafina, and the fifth Mata one. Sul. Thank you. It escapes me at this point. From there, the tobacco then migrated into Mexico. And that's where you get the San Andreas strain. Now, what's happened is, you have to understand, this migration happened over a very long period of time. And it happened with a cultural, it happens with a culturally, it happened with a group of people that were culturally to the level that they could, um, what's the word when you cultivate on purpose, I'm trying to think of, where you start to actually grow with the intent of growing. And so it first happened in Brazil. The next place it happened was in the San Andreas Tuxtla region of Mexico with the Mayans. That's the same seed that then migrated into the Caribbean, to Cuba, which makes the third one, which is Havanesis. But it didn't actually go to Cuba first. It actually migrated up into, into the United States. And the variety that it became in the United States is what we consider the broadleaf variety. Pennsylvania Maduro, Connecticut broadleaf, Wisconsin Comstock, those are all varieties. The separation geographically and the cultural differences between the people, they each cultivated those and they became their own criollos, their own native seeds over time. Then the seeds were the seeds that were taken from Mexico, even though the Cubans like to take credit for everything. Actually, Cuban seed tobacco's origin is Mexico. That's a, those seeds were taken into Cuba in the 1600s, uh, like 1634, 1622, who knows. But it was right around there. And that seed variety is Habanesis. And then the fifth one is the seeds that uh, the seeds that migrated again from Mexico to Indonesia, and those those basically ended up becoming their own criollo, because these five places, because of the geographic differences between them and the cultural differences, they each had a tobacco culture that grew and cultivated tobacco in their own little ecosystems. But those seeds all originate from the Peruvian seeds originally. That's where it all comes from. And those are considered the five base Criollo tobaccos. But every other tobacco from since that point comes from one of those five basic steps. Interesting. Thank you.